In this video, I'll show you how to make this giant watch. Start with an IKEA clock. We find an image of a watch face on the internet and Photoshop the hands off. I choose this one as I wanted a chronograph watch. The clock hands line up with the chronograph hands. We test print the face to get the correct sizing. Put bolts in the back so that the mechanisms don't fall out when the hands are taken off. We take off the hands. Look mum, no hands. We trial fit the face. We print this at high quality on large paper. We did this at Officeworks. I designed the hands with paper. We cut it out with acetate to match the hand designs. The acetate makes it a bit stiffer. We use some chrome sticker to make the silver parts. We chrome the hands. The chrome sticker doesn't stretch like normal vinyl. So I had to cut around the curves and fold the edges in. It was a pretty slow process. This green will look good for the hands. It'll make it handsome. These hands will be stuck to the original hands. I even chromed the second hand. The real hands need to be trimmed to match the new shape. Double sided tape was used to stick the real hands on. I did try glue but that didn't work. This is the finished hour hand and here it is from the top. The minute hand here shows how much longer the real one is. We're trimming the second hand here. The second hand tip was changed later to an orange one. The chrono hands are pretty fiddly to do. I later taped the back of the hands to stop them curling up. Here we're ready to mount it on the clock. We punch through exactly where the clock centers line up. So the print size must be exactly the same as the clock. Once it's all lined up, we take the face off put a lot of double sided tape, we stick the face down and add the hands. We see if someone can 3D print the knobs, measure the real watch and multiply everything by 7.9 in this case and try to get the dimensions to be really accurate. Here I trim the clock rim to make it thinner, just freehanded it with a router and then I got some sandpaper and smoothed it up. I use some blue paint to fill around the edges. Here we get some MDF to make the lugs. We draw some shapes, we cut it out initially with a jigsaw. We get the rough shape. Yeah, here we're trying to make them symmetrical. We use the trimming tool to get the angles. And here I hand carve the areas that are hard to reach. The MDF is a bit like cardboard. We've got to smooth it out as much as possible. Here I glue the lugs to the clock. We clamp the lugs while the glue dries. We use Seca Seca Tech Grip which takes a while to set. We fill in any gaps with car filler. Sand the filler back. I had to drill some holes on the lugs to make it look authentic. You carefully enlarge the holes. You don't make the mistake of drilling it out too large because it will split the MDF. As you can see it's pretty soft. And after splitting the MDF it's glued and clamped. You leave it out in the sun, let it dry. Here's some spot putty from Repco because it's useless for cars. We mask the inside where the glass sits. This hides the sponge that protects the glass. After one coat of spray filler, you can see how rough it is still. So we lightly sand that down and just keep 
spraying it because we want to fill in all the dents of the wood grain and chips as well. Here it is after about 12 coats of primer filler. So any small defect shows up. It's sort of like painting a car except I'm not going to make a giant car. The central knob has a bit of a gap on purpose. The side push knobs are sealed to the case. So then we wet sand the spray filler. That's to remove any marks and bumps. The sanding grit needs to be about 800 minimum. I used a silver wheel colour paint. It's easier to hold the case while spraying so you can go right around it. The silver coat's left to dry and then I spray it with a clear coat. The clock's reassembled. The photo's taken next to something to show the size of the clock. The clock won't be exactly the same as the watch because the watch is actually thicker and the lugs are thinner. The date doesn't change. I could make a revolving date wheel but I think I've wasted enough time on this project. A mechanism with a sweep second head would make it look better. Thanks for watching.